I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. This is part one of our conversation with John Helliwell. Favorite song on Breakfast in America from Q the Host. Favorite song on Breakfast in America? Yeah, do you have a favorite? Of the album, Yeah. you mean? Uh, favorite song on Breakfast in America? I would probably just have to single out the, the logical song because it, it's just so up in, in one way and uh, it was good for me and it's... It's jaunty and it, it rocks along. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I would have to single that out. Although, I, if I just looked at it, probably, maybe I'll pick another one tomorrow. Well, that, yeah, <laughs> and, and, that, and that's, that's a, another compliment for the album. What kind of a guy were you back? Give that guy any advice now, knowing what you know. I was pretty much, I was pretty much the same. No, yeah. I don't think I've changed. Yeah, I, I would say uh, don't change. No. I don't know what advice I could. Give, yeah. Really. Yeah. What was the impetus to do this particular record? Well, I thought um, uh, um, uh, I had I had this group called Creme Anglaise, which is like a, a jazz quintet, and I've had it for quite a while. Enjoy playing with that. And then about about eighteen months ago, I was I was thinking it'd be nice to to make an album, and I've been working with this uh, guy called Andy Scott, who is a saxophonist composer and arranger now let's go back about two years or maybe two or three years and a friend of mine uh asked me he said would you would you be able to play at my daughter's wedding in the church in a small church and i said yeah okay man yes yeah, no problem just bring my saxophone and tootle something and he said he said the next day he said um there's a string quartet playing as, as well at, at the wedding i said oh well, that's interesting and I thought, I'd play this number called Whaley Whaley, which is, it's the same number as The Water Is Wide. It's its an old um, yeah. folk tune. And I thought, um, it'd be nice if I could play with this string quartet. And so the person I knew that did arranging and composing, who I worked with, Andy Scott, I said to Andy, can you can you do me a little arrangement for a string quartet and saxophone for, for uh, Whaley Whaley? And he said, yeah, sure. And a few days later, he he sent it to me, and so I went down to the uh, to the wedding with these p- bits of paper in my hand and gave them to the string quartet, and we did a version of it. And uh, people were crying, and because uh, it was so bad, no, people were crying because uh, they really loved it or something. And so it went down well. So that was the spark for this idea. I thought, well, maybe I can do an album with a string quartet. And so I thought about that and talked to Andy Scott and. Uh, a bit, and then before we started doing the arrangements for the album, for the uh, for the tunes, I, somehow I had this bright idea of introducing a Hammond organ. I thought this this is interesting because you don't normally get that combo. You get string quartets with singers, with with all sorts of people. It's normal and it's it's very good. Uh, the, the, the Hammond organ gave it something special. So that, then I had this concept, and Andy and I worked for a few months. Doing these, well, he did the arrangements, but we, we talked about it. Um, so we, I, I got all the tunes together, and then we decided that uh, we would we would do a concert. So the very the only concert, no, we've done two concerts because it was cruelly stopped by uh, the COVID nineteen, yeah. you know. But so exactly a year ago today, July twenty seven, twenty eight, we did a concert in a town in in England called Chester in a lovely theatre, and we had a really good crowd there, and we recorded that evening and filmed it. And then we stayed there the next day uh, without the audience, and we did a a recording session of of all the numbers again. So then we took that material, worked on it to produce this album. And there there are two at least of the numbers that, that are available and uh, as they're actually as extra tracks on the CD uh, that you can you have the video as well if you can get that on YouTube or whatever. The, so the, that's that's good. We'll have more from John Halliwell, formerly of Supertramp, coming up next week. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. And remember, buy a T-shirt with that logo on it over there. It'll help support our channel. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. <laughs>